I would not pay for this. In fact, I would uh, hope the developer would pay me to play this. Everything I say is based on my own opinions and experience. I'm not speaking for the public, and my feedback should be treated as such. You are watching Nico Evaluates. With 26 years of experience on Mega Man games, 7 years of doing the No Miss Buster Only Challenge, and countless Snapster races, as well as being the QA tester for Mega Man Unlimited, I'm here to tell you my honest opinions on different Mega Man games, so sit tight and learn. Hello people and welcome back to Nico Evaluates Rosengroish Stilette. Somebody said you can uh, charge these weapons, just have to wait for a long time. I'm not sure if that works. I guess that doesn't work. Now oh, there we go. Holy shit! That's exactly the uh, attack from Bomberman. At least the one I played on uh, Windows. Atomic Bomberman, I think he's the best one. Let's see how many of these actually have. There we go, look at that. You can actually charge these. Just takes for a uh, fucking ever. Okay. Interesting that we are uh, finding these out now. I would have gone the whole game without charging any of these weapons. We should somehow let you know about it. At least I think so. So I guess the grey ones uh, can't be uh, charged. Pink ones can. Well, that's interesting. I've been told that this is the weakness for dead. I farmed for uh, 9 E-Tanks, so uh, let's see how uh, that uh, works for us. Although, uh, the password does not save our progress, so I had to replay from Wily 1. Or the first stage, whatever that, that's called. Oh, okay. We are gonna die here the first time, apparently. Note to self, don't charge it ever again. So, uh, my opinion on this boss can be found on the previous episode. I actually bought some uh, Starbucks. Cappuccino. Uh-oh, I should have already uh, equipped the weapon. Oh well. It's just so uh, hard to read this boss. Uh, it's uh, not very good. The weakness also makes you uh, go very close to it, so most likely you'll, you'll just take damage unless you spam it like that. Well, let's try our luck. See how far we can get. Okay, I'm not sure if it works on this form. This is such a messy fucking fight, I'll just use the buster because at least I know I'm hitting him. I like this uh, this more than the uh, first form though. It's uh, so graphically advanced that uh, it's hard to read because of it. But it's a uh, very uh, good looking fight. Uh, head comes off. Oh, right. I've been told that uh, that's not even the hard boss. So basically, you just have to go trigger happy on those. There's not much. I mean, sure, you can learn that if you really want to, but you'll, you'll be spending days trying to learn that. So it's not really viable. It's not pattern based in a way where you could actually uh, try it a couple of times and learn it. You literally have to devote your fucking life on learning that boss. So even if it's pattern based, I wouldn't call it uh, that good. Okay. Alright. So because of the transitions in this game are so fast. Well, you'll probably just die trying these. Let's uh, game over here then. Because we already lost a life. Hug the left side. I don't think I was too close. Well, I'm not gonna fucking game over again just because of that. Man, that's a relentless spike drop. Or spike pit. Looks like we have a bit of a maze going on here. Choose your path. See what kind of decision we made. Man, those are still hard to read after, after all of this. After all the experience on the game, that's a quite unfortunate spawn point. Again, uh, because there's no uh, tubes or anything, it's kind of hard to get used to uh, enemies just spawning from thin air. 
Alright, so, oh right, we don't have to stock up on ammo because we game over the At least this game does that right. If you game over it fills your weapons back. Why is this so hard all of a sudden? I think it's because of this motherfucker on the sledge. Not the perfect spot for it. Okay. If I know this game by now, we should be almost at the gate. See if I'm correct. The hell? The enemy is from Super Mario Bros. 2. That's a reference. Uh. Okay. Gotta be fast. Shit. How many shots does a fucking flower take? Like 10. At this point, uh. I just wish to be uh, done with the game. Unfortunately, that's the case. What the fuck is going on in here? Do I need the bombs? I'm just gonna test the theory. Yes. Let's think about this, right? We probably need to use the uh, super uh, charge on it. Holy shit. See, that works. Oh no, I have gone and fucked myself. There has to be a way. Son of a shit. Oh my god! I'm not gonna hurry. You hurry. Oh my god. It's a cruel joke. They are so close, yet so far. What if? No, it's pr probably gonna crush us. I was gonna be like, what if I jumped up there? But no, it's gonna completely crush us. We just came through the wall. Can we actually do that again? I'm intrigued. We can do it again. Okay, so we have a minute to figure this out. But that is negated. I'll, I can just click out of the window and pause it. So that'll just negate all of the uh, <laughs> challenge there. So what if I were to purchase fast food? And disguise it as my own cooking. Let me guess, the uh, weakness for the boss is bombs. Well, at least we can stock up on uh, weapon energy by using the bombs to break that wall. To gain more bombs. Nope, we are out. <laughs> Never mind. I hope the boss isn't weak to bombs. Hello, Trillman stage. Some, like somebody said, it's now more fun to try and fi figure out from which game uh, the rooms are from, rather than just enjoying the game. <laughs> That's fair. Shit, I... The platforming isn't too bad in this game. The Tibido is so well done that... Uh, uh, kind of a joy to uh, jump around, but at the same time, the game is so bland. It's not that fun. I was just uh, standing there like an idiot. Nice background animations there. The time for games is over. The time for games is over. So we have a uh, Dracula kind of deal. We haven't used the uh, airman weapon yet that much. It's just uh, cycle through the weaknesses and... Oh! We are lucky as fuck. Ooh. That is actually a nice animation on the flame there, unlike F Flame Man. It's uh, very well done. Except he uh, comes at us at the same time. Uh, oh my god! I knew that was gonna happen. And just so we don't game over, I have checked the weakness for the second form. I am not gonna game over here. I don't feel like repeating the game anymore. We've seen most of what it has to offer. It's not a beautiful sight, in my opinion, anyway. God fucking damn it. Mm, there we go. Feels good when you finally dodge that. So now we use this. And don't... Step on the uh, thing. Shit. Use the E-Tank. Don't play with the... Uh, don't play with it. Well, uh... All of this seems dodgeable. Just a shame, I don't know how to uh, 
diagonally shoot this weapon so, like that. Now it works. Sometimes it just doesn't work. Somebody might uh, want to explain to me how that works, or maybe we'll check it on the next stage. But we are not gonna die here. <sighs> not a fan of big sprites, but that was kind of a holy shit moment, so I'm okay with that. Not too much. Holy fuck, that's flickering. Not too much uh, sense in. Uh, uh oh. Uh, not too much sense in trying to figure out those patterns at this point. I mean, it looked like it was well done. Uh, I just don't feel like uh, repeating a stage just because of that. We could uh, evaluate this game fully and use all of our E-Tanks and then I, I could farm for another two hours and then repeat it and uh, evaluate it some more. That's literally wily. But I think uh, most of us at this point are uh, kind of bored of this game already. Four more stages, huh? Or three. Okay. So at least... At least it uh, has the balls to uh, introduce more stages than uh, usually on uh, what might be a shorter Mega Man game. So even though it has short stages, it does have more than uh, you would usually see. Interesting uh, looking stage, although kind of hard to uh, differentiate the background from the foreground uh, uh, sometimes. Not a big problem. Things dropping down on us. That's a neat mechanic. Uh oh! <laughs> Can't just stop and uh, look at the beauties. Oh god. This stage looks a uh, hell of a lot better than most stages so far. And we could see almost the whole pattern there of the Oku blocks. That was nice. Music uh, is actually a bit better than uh, what it used to be. Okay, we probably want to go right. My guess anyway. Oh, god damn. That is something I was not expecting. That sucked. Yeah, tell me about it. Well, let's take the left route this time. I don't like how the uh, weapon energy is on the uh, side of that block. Why not just put it in the middle? That I, I have to pick that up. My OCD can't handle that. This route is so much worse. Luckily, what the fuck? Can you charge your weapon with the normal buster? And then you pause? Whoa! So you can charge a special weapon with the buster. So the charge always stays, no matter what weapon you are using. That is interesting. If you're wondering about my heart rate, it's like uh, 29 degrees inside here. And I'm fully clothed because... Uh, I took my car to uh, windshield uh, replacement. I had to take the bus back. The bus was like 40 degrees inside it. I was sweating like a pig's ass. So for that reason my heart rate is still up. I just came home. Oh my god. There we go. The blocks. That is uh, horseshit though, this placement here, because I took the route that I thought was the best. I took the route that I thought was gonna give us a prize for making it. And then when we made it, we essentially just died. So, questionable design there. I don't quite understand it. We could use bombs. Or just get the E-Tank. Are those Yoku blocks never gonna go away? So we had to already know. We had to already know how this room works. To get that E-Tank. That is some <laughs> lousy fucking design. Come on, guys. What the fuck? That is horrible. Oh my god. It's just... It's like, want this E-Tank? You're not gonna get it because you didn't know in advance what we did. That is horrible. Yep, I knew that was gonna happen. Does it even hit us? Or it's just... It's, oh, okay. I see. I see. It's kind of like fuck you thing here. I see how it is. Can't we just use item number two all over this part? Probably can, but if I had to guess, we need item two later on. <gasps> oh, god, dude. Oh, my god. 
Jesus. So hard to read these things. It's a neat mechanic though, just a bit of a hard thing to uh, get accustomed to when you're uh, in a hurry. You get 10 points if you remember what game this is from. I'll give you uh, 3 seconds. Big Man 5. Essentially, what I always talk about, don't have to even uh, try because we already have the items. What's the use of having Yoku blocks in the wider stages? Unless you do it Yoku Man style. Where the whole uh, stage is full of them, so you, you'll run out of items. So you have to sparing, sparingly use them and decide where you do use them. This also looks like it's in the background. Can't go over that. I am not gonna trust this. There is no way in hell. Let's see. Okay, I could have trusted it. Let's see what uh, happens if we go down here. It's just a boss. Uh-huh. The spider from Mega Man X. Ice is the weakness. But it only works sometimes, as you can see. There! Okay, let me rephrase that. It only works one out of a hundred times you tried it. I guess you're supposed to hit the eye or something, or the back. The ass part, I'm not fucking sure. Bloody hell, let's see. I like the design of it though. But what is there not to like? Yeah, 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 you have to hit the ass. It looks like you should hit the uh, glowing thing. I guess you're supposed to, but... I don't know. Oh my god, there's so much shit in this fucking room. Uh, yep, it's gonna be there. Just hammer down the ice, it's gonna take a hit at some point. Luckily those don't do uh, that much uh, damage. How the fuck do you avoid those? You have to like sl sl slide first and then jump over. It's like good luck if you manage that. This weakness is horseshit. Why does it work so, like, so rarely? <laughs> I don't understand. It's not a hard boss, you just take unavoidable damage pretty much. How the fuck do you avoid this fuck? Okay, I can see how you avoid them, there we go. This is not worth talking about. The spider in Mega Man X is a bit better. <laughs> That is just sad. Why, why, does, why does the weakness... Why is it so bad? Well, you have to hit the back part of the spider. Well, I did hit it. I hit every part of it and just dinged off. It like hits once per 20 tries. That's a weakness. <sighs> well, for the first time ever, the game looks different. We are like, what, 12 stages in and now the game is different. Why couldn't you color the game like this on the normal stages as well? This is fucking beautiful. Well, it's dated, don't get me wrong. But you have to remember, this game is from 2007. It's only uh, gotten into Steam in uh, 2017 because they wanted to cash in with the game. Which is wrong, I think. But if uh, people are dumb enough to pay, I don't see the harm. I would have done the same thing. If I needed an uh, extra $10,000. Uh, touch her? No, don't touch her. That's wrong. What the fuck? There we go. That's a gravity gimmick. It's hard to see. The game does look dated, uh, but I think it look, uh, looked uh, dated when it came out, so... It's a very... Uh, just like a flash game. I see how the gravity works. It's uh, pretty much the uh, waterfalls. Those enemies are not something that I would like. They are placed in places where you'll just end up taking damage if you're not s fucking perfect. The, the enemy design is okay, but you've placed them in horrible spots. That was my fault, my jump didn't quite work there. Need to uh, clean my controller again. Oh my god! There's no way... <laughs> There's no way you're gonna know how to uh, deal with that the first time. Don't get me wrong, you don't always have to know everything about the game before you even try it, but... Stuff like that where you just have a barrage of shit coming at us before we can, re we can even react, it's kind of cheap and kind of ass. You should be able to hit her when she's forming the leaves. Like there, that should, that should hit her. Because otherwise, you'll just risk damage. I don't understand. 
We are gonna die here. We are so dead. Okay. Oh, there we go. I kinda want... Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Don't want the life. <gasps> no spike traps, because you don't know how to make them work, Will. Son of a bitch, how do you expect me to do that? The transitions are way too fast. You... This is the kind of game where the transitions should be uh, as slow as in Mega Man 4 for this to make sense. I'm just holding left. Okay, we got fucking lucky there. So you have to be close enough for that to activate. Uh oh. God. Why does. Like, what the fuck kills the big guys? Like, nothing kills them in one hit, I think. They take like 20 fucking hits, there's another. Let's see, let's fucking try. Mmm! No. No, of course not, fuck. I'm gonna use all of my weapons to try and kill one big guy. Takes like more damage than in Mega Man 1. Or the same amount, which is too much. Wow, a cross. Woo! This stage has had more of a team than any of the previous ones. So uh, that that yeah, that's something I can like here. Shit. Why is there? Oh, I see. You can uh, break down the walls there if you want. Why wouldn't there be a fucking yellow devil? You are supposed to use the uh, rain on it, the uh, rain flush. But let's uh, try it first with the Buster. We have zero lives. We have to kill it. <laughs> oh my god. I'll I'll try to hit it once. Okay. Cool. <laughs> We are going to try and kill it. Which one of these? It's Storm. Storm! That is fast as hell. But quite doable still. Thing is, if you played the Mega Man 1 version at all, this should be uh, pretty easy. There we go, that's uh, quite a nice weakness since you don't have to actually hit it. You don't have to aim at all. I am gonna use my E tanks here probably. I don't want to. Uh, game over here, please. So now we are up here, which is interesting. This is how you can bring stage mechanics into the game, I think. This is uh, quite fun to see. Quite fucking hard to do as well, as you can see it there. What the fuck? Now it's all messed up. So you get different patterns, which is nice. Oh my god, we are gonna, we're gonna have to use another... I hope we still have enough. I farmed for half an hour for 9 e tanks, just so you know. <laughs> This game is essentially uh, very difficult if you don't farm the E-Tanks, you're, you're gonna fucking die. You need pretty much 9 E-Tanks on your first run, there's no way around it. You're not gonna know how these bosses work. Not a bad devil, it's quite interesting, but holy shit, it's fast. It's so fast, it's one, one yet another reason why you need the E-Tanks, that boss is so fast. Good at telegraphing though, but holy hell. Alright, we are finally getting re rid of this game. But, oh, we just happened to land on an E tank, I suppose. Holy shit! Okay. That's uh, quite, of, uh, quite the introduction to the stage. So, if we actually just kill ourselves over and over, we can get 9 E tanks, I suppose. And uh, I suppose that's we. I suppose that's what we should do. Since it's uh, pretty fast, we'll come back after these messages. As we are doing this, I would like to remind everyone that you too can uh, pledge a game for Nico Evaluates. Go to uh, patreon.com slash the retro job, I believe. I'll link it in the description if I remember. Actually, it's already there. If you scroll down my description, if you hit the uh, read more or whatever it says, there is a link to my Patreon. So go ahead and uh, pledge a game. There's a tier for it, and uh, when Patreon charges you, which is usually at the uh, beginning of the month, I'll ask you what you want, or if you just tell me right out, then I'll know. So that's uh, the story there. I can decline your game, but you don't have to... Uh, of course, then you don't have to pay for it. Just let me know uh, what game it is before you uh, wait for the uh, beginning of the month for Patreon to charge you, and uh, that way... That way, you don't have to pay if I decline your game. 
Now, what would be the reason for the uh, decline? I guess uh, it would be a game that I really don't want to do. That's one reason. Or uh, it could be a ROM hack or something which I'm not interested in. But definitely go check out the Patreon if you want. This game was pledged in my Patreon, that's why I'm doing it. Eric the Red pledged this game for Nico Evaluates. And here we are. In the past, uh, Mighty Number no. 9 was pledged by Lightbox. So those are the stories behind these games. I'm glad that I got to play this game. I, I'm quite happy that I now know what it is. So when somebody asks me, I can tell them. Before I ha didn't have any idea, so that's good. And everyone else who's watching who hasn't played this now knows if this is worth their time, which I would say it is not. But everyone can make their own decisions based on this. I just don't see anything to like here. It's a game that I've played already, in form of other games. It's nice how the game actually does give you some lean way like that. It gives you the items, so you can at least farm for them. There we go, if you're just perfectly in the middle, you have an easier time. Of course, that Met still says fuck you and hits us. Can't get it all, right? See if you can get this though. Nope, my jump button fucked me over again. The slide is very good when you slide off platforms. So that is it, we don't need any of these. It's an eerie music. Don't need this either. Should probably save it, to be honest. Alright, here we go. Uh, it's the uh, naked chick. What the fuck actually is going on? <laughs> Tia, so flame? Atom. Up and atom. Holy fuck! Uh, she's weak to her own weapon, just like Middleman. The, re the references never stop. Of course, I'm admitting here uh, I have studied what each weakness is, so we don't have to die ten times to this stage. Oh my god. There's not enough room for this fight here. Well, it's harder, that's correct. The revisit room for this boss is actually ridiculously small. Luckily, they actually shortened this attack, I think at least. We are so dead. Let's use one of these. I'm not sure why we have to use Buster, but that's what I uh, was told to use Buster here. Maybe there's a reason for it. Maybe it's the weakness for Wily, whoever it is. Girl Wily, that's acceptable. I forgot to rate these. The first boss was actually quite cool. It's a seven. This one, even though I can't remember any of their names. This one is something like a 5 or so, or so bombs for this one. They are all uh, being injected into naked chicks. So this one we should be able to bomb to death. There we go. Yeah. Mm. That's fun to throw the bombs. Can't deny that. There we go. Well... Something like a 5 as well. Pharaoh shot for this one. I like the revisit music actually. This is the uh, music I like. Can we... Uh oh, I forgot it's this one. Get over here! Mm. It's the bright man, uh, skull man combo, so... Probably something like a 7. 6.5, 7, something around that. Flame for this. We need flame quite often here. I don't know what the weapon is called, so I'll just call it flame. See how that works, it's called L Atom. That's easy to pronounce. Yep, that's definitely the weakness for Bomber Man. Bomber Girl. Four. Luckily the weaknesses are very well thought out. They are literal weaknesses. And this game came out in 2007, yet this boss is exactly like Splash Woman, like the, the sprite and everything, the stance it has. It makes me think if Capcom played this and just recreated the Robot Master. This is shield as far as I can recall. Well, that's uh, helpful, it actually gets rid of all of those. Oh yeah. She can eat shit. It's basically like Airman and... 
She has uh, the weakness for wood, so or leaf shield if you want to be uh, accurate. Bloody hard to hit her with it though. Even the weaknesses are similar. Like there's the originality is so lacking. It's not even funny. This one is air. I forgot to rate the previous one. It's like airman. <laughs> five, four, maybe five. Air. I can't find air. Mm. That certainly works. Funny how the uh, supercharge doesn't do that much damage. How does that make sense? Come on. That was actually one of the better ones. I'll, I'd give that an 8. 8.5. I had a lot of fun with that boss. Need ice for this one. Just hold down ice and she'll die. What is this boss anyway? Oh, it's the Toad Man. So, uh... 3? 2? 2.5? Alright, let's see. Need flame again. I hope we have enough E-Tanks for this. That is the Wily Machine. So flame first. Yep. Has the same uh, attack than uh, Mega Man 1 Wily Machine. And Mega Man 2 Wily Machine there. I don't know what the teleport thing is there. We should probably avoid it. So there is one difference in this fight, that teleport thing. And it's kind of just in the way. <laughs> As you can see, it's not very well thought out. Hence why the uh, original games didn't do that, because it's it's hard to adjust the two things at the same time. Can be done, as you can see, but... I would probably have something else there. Let's use anything here. Hopefully we can still do this. This one is bombs, but we don't have any bombs, which is quite unfortunate. Can we still use something else? Are we fucked? Don't tell me we're fucked. Oh my god. Excuse me? Okay, Charge Buster does it. That's what we're gonna use then. I'm not sure how the hell you would hit this with the bombs. Guess with good luck or something like that. <laughs> Maybe if you charge the other weapons you can use them. But I'd rather just try and avoid all of this shit and just actually beat this. If you wanna know more about this game and how to use the weapons effectively, just play the game or go watch more uh, videos. We are just evaluating here, we're not trying to be fancy. There we go, that... Uh, that was... Uh, the second pattern was actually quite good. That one I liked. Very well animated, very well done. Easy to dodge, uh, all of that shit. That was... Uh, that was uh, good. The first uh, attack, the first form, just uh, not as good there. It's not, like, it's hard to get that in sync. We are at the final stage here. I even say at the final stage. Let's see what we have to do. It's a pretty nice background. Oh my god, no. We have done it again. There's a pickup after a transition. At least we can go back and get the other one, and the shield attacker is not in our way if we do that. Well done. Now we have to... Um, let's see what we even need. We need flame. So we should get that up. Need the flame. Oh shit! Oh, okay. Hit. Oh sh I see. Are we gonna drop? <laughs> that is quite cool. I love that. We're just gonna get the E-Tanks for free. How many did we get? Like two? That's pretty nice. What if we go back? There has to be something here. Steve achievement. I swear to god, if this is Steam achievement, I'm gonna kill someone. There has to be an E-Tank here. If there's no E-Tank or a 1-Up, I'm gonna be upset. Coming all the way down here. Oh my god, there's probably nothing here. We should've used item 2 or something. Although this is diagonal. Oh my god, there's nothing here. Are you out of your fucking mind? I'm gonna do this. There has to be something there. No, there's a wall. Oh my god. Just put a life there or something. Everyone's gonna check what's down here. S scumfuck. Scumbags. Who's not gonna check? 
Everyone's gonna check what's down there. Like, I, I understand, it's the same spot where we, like, started here. But, wouldn't it be cool if something was actually there? Maybe it's just me, I don't fucking know. Need flame. Also, we have to guard ourselves with the shield, I, I suppose. To make it a bit easier. We don't have a lot of that, but we do have E-Tanks. Thank god I watched some uh, tutorials <laughs> how to beat these. We would be here for like two weeks. It's not about... Like, I don't care that much about how we are doing this. I just care about that we are doing it. Period. So that's how that works. We should not fully charge apparently, that takes more energy and she doesn't take any more damage. But that's hard to charge I suppose. Uh oh! I hope we don't- Ah! That's a nice one. What the fuck? Well I hope this is uh, not a problem since we ran out of the weapon. Buster, please. Okay that works. Well done, that works. I'm relieved. Nice patterns! So there is no second form on this, which is a bit of a letdown, but at the same time you need so many E-Tanks to even get here, so a good decision there. Whoa, I like the uh, animations and such. Quite fun and easy to read. I accidentally killed her. Well, <laughs> I was supposed to uh, evaluate it even more. Oh well, it looks clean. The animations are there. It's not a bad game. Did she just cry blood? It's not a bad game, it's just a copy of everything else we played. It's There's nothing new here, it's just a, a graphical update on top of something that doesn't need a graphical update. Very mediocre, I just... no. Uh, I don't know about this one. It's not gonna score high. The review is on the screen right now. I have yet to make my mind. But uh, as you're seeing this video, I have already made my made up my mind. I would not pay for this. In fact, I would uh, hope the developer would pay me to play this. This felt more like work. Maybe because I was evaluating it and that has become quite like work. I'm not really playing these to enjoy them, I'm playing these to find out what, uh, what the deal is. I, 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 Not a good game. I don't understand all the praise it gets. Don't get me wrong, it's not a bad game, like I said, it's not bad, it's not horrible, it's... It's, it just is, it's a game. It's too much like the original Mega Man games and that's the reason why it doesn't touch me in any way. That's funny because it should be the other way around, of course. I should be happy to play this because uh, it resembles the Mega Man game so well. That's a mediocre job, there's too... Uh, like the small amount of uh, stage enemies and uh, the short stages and it, it's just grey and putrid and it looks ugly. And it's just not a fun game to play. And I don't understand any any of this anime thing, if that's even how you pronounce it, I don't understand it. So, even one more reason to uh, not buy the game, I suppose. Apparently some people just like watching uh, cartoon TDs, but can't you just go and watch them in a website or something? You don't have to buy a game for it, it's 10 bucks, 10 euros, it's uh, ludicrous. 10 bucks for some t something like this. No, 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 I need to get paid. Good thing is, I did get paid <laughs> to play this. Thanks, thank you, uh, Eric the Red, for paying me to play this game. That's the only reason I played this. Catch you next time with uh, Mega Man 10. See you then. See what I did. <laughs>